Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper in our little mining base, by the looks of it. Now, I've received a lot of uh, tips in the comments. One of the biggest ones, though, was don't build your furnace up here. The reason for not building the furnace up here is because you have no means of processing wood into firewood. Now, on the surface, I get what you're saying, and I actually hadn't noticed that myself. So, well, well done with pointing that out. There is no means of putting a wood stockpile or a means of chopping it all up. However, you can use coal to fire your furnaces. And in fact, you are going to want coal to be able to make graph, uh, graphite, I believe it is. Anyway, so I may go ahead and just build a furnace up here anyhow, just to test whether or not we can do, uh, we can do well with that. Uh, but I'm probably not going to worry about uh, gathering anything else. But there's plenty of coal over here, so that really shouldn't be an issue for us. We should be able, and there's even more over here. It depends on how long these coal supplies last for. If they run out at some point, that would be rather dire. But uh, on the surface, I would say perhaps putting the, the furnace up there would still be worthwhile doing. I'm still not sold on not having a furnace down by my house, though. And a large part of that is because I am actually producing a, a reasonable amount of um, scrap iron. I'm, I'm going to want somewhere that I can put that. Hello. Oh, dear. Oh dear, oh dear, I've not got my sword. Aha, leave me alone. Oh no, I've got to get past all of these bats. Ah, oh, bullies that you are. Fight someone who... Well, actually I'm several times your size, so I suppose that isn't really bullying so much as a David and Goliath story. Still, I don't even have a weapon. You scoundrels. Cowards. Uh, that's a lesson for me not to leave my weapons around though, isn't it? Right then. Uh, well, we're still kind of in a rubbish place in terms of our um, tools. Unfortunately, uh, not liking that at all. We do have enough stone though for us to make what we need. Hmm. Well, let's pop inside. Oh my lord, so much bread, so good, so wonderful. I am gonna want to sell all of that. What's the next thing? Well, it's, ooh, it is the correct day for me to be taking this Oh, wait, no, no, no. I don't think it is, actually. I don't believe we're going to find Snake down here. I think, no, we've just missed the opportunity. Well, Drat Down and Blast. I think uh, Snake will be leaving at this point. Oh, well, isn't that a bum? Uh, can we grab what we need out of here? We might catch him. Let's go and see if we can catch him. I think he'll already be leaving. I think he's here in the morning. The night of of envy is basically the morning of envy, effectively. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, you can't win everything, I suppose. It's a bit of a pain, but fine. Whatever. Uh, right. Well, there's not a lot that we're going to be doing down here. I think today we're actually going to be moving a lot of stuff up top to try and set things up up there. Uh, I can, of course. Take some of this stuff and, and go sell it, maybe. There's quite a lot of possibilities there, actually. Let's grab a bunch of these. We don't need, in fact, we don't need most of those there. Um, is there anything else we really want to do? No, not particularly. Not here, anyway. Okay. Well, I think we're going to probably go in and bunker down at the, at, the, at the mining outpost. The only thing with that is we will eventually run out of our tools. That is a bit of a problem. There's not a lot that we can do about that one. Mm. We really need to get money. Uh, well, we've got bread enough to sell to the bishop. That's good enough, I suppose. I'm going to leave... Sure, we'll leave 20 bread there. And that'll be useful for making... Um, uh, that'll be useful for, for making burgers eventually. Once we've got the means to make burgers, we'll be able to use that. Uh, let's go and just empty out my inventory for a moment. And after significant consideration, I just don't like having this. I really don't. It it feels super cheesy and it, it makes the game feel less, less involved. I like having to unlock new areas and, and, and working through it like that and, and having the, the little secret passage because now, you know, I had to invest in opening that. And so as a result, now I get the, the benefit of being able to move around. Um, so I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of, of taking that with us. 
Um, so I'm gonna leave it here. We bought it. It's bought now. There's not much I can do about it. But we can choose not to uh, use it anymore. I'm gonna make a load of bowls though, and we should hopefully be able to sell these to the bishop for a significant amount of cash. Is my uh, fervent hope and wish and dream. There we go. That should be enough water to do everything we need. Go on, just use it all. There we are. Womp. Perfect. Now, let us make all of the ceramic bowls we can and then sell them. Yes, it's going to take me some time. Oh, it takes me a lot more time than I would I would wish. On the plus side, by the time we're done with this, we might have... Well, no, we won't have even close to enough... Uh, red skill points to to do everything we want but uh, maybe i should go and grab some of that bread you know what we probably should so let me drop this off in here uh we'll also drop off well where am i storing the bees we're storing the bees on the inside let's go and take these in there we are pop the bees up there uh, we'll take the bowls from in here now i could eat the bread i would actually rather eat something less important Let's have a look. What can we make? Um, fried eggs. Not what I fancy right now. I could chop up some of the fish and then have uh, some fish food, maybe. And it's possible uh, we could make muffins. We've got four muffins for one dough and some honey. That has, that's actually not a bad deal. Did want to keep the honey b around, but no. Okay, we'll make up. We'll make some dough. So, oh, we're gonna need to go and get more water. Of course, we don't actually have to go and get the water. We can just take like 50 from here, but we won't take that much. That's fine. That's more than enough. All right, drop this off. And there we go. I'm really surprised that we didn't have enough dough. Have I got some down here? Perhaps did I store it with all the corpse bits? No, I didn't. Well, that's good of me. I'm glad I didn't. Uh, store of that there but let's get plenty of dough please uh, nope not quite that much there we go that'll do 28 dough more than enough to make a hefty amount of muffins i think uh, i'm gonna have to eat something soon though but uh, hmm. all right fine one of my one of my good meals but that should get me all the dough that i need there we are. and we can get all of the muffins we can make with the honey that we've got there we are. Pop all that in there. And we're done and done. Perfect. All right, let's continue on with our work. And hopefully we can go back and grab some more muffins in a little bit. All right, now, in terms of stone work, we need to get to the advanced cutter. Now, that's going to take a little bit of extra work. And before then, I really don't want to uh, sacrifice the goal, which is the circular saws. Really? Oh, there we go. Good. Perhaps I should store that elsewhere. I mean, I could take some of the bread, I suppose, but I'd rather not. Come on, there we go. Muffins! Ah, it has been a while since I, I had you to eat. Um, do I want to store... Yeah, I'm going to store my my work food out in this chest here. It seems to make a lot of sense to me. Right, gobble down the muffins. All four. There we are. Perfect. Now we continue making bowls. Or, or rather, printing money. It might not look like money, but that's because I haven't transmuted it yet. The, the device by which I transmute bowls into money is the bishop. He seems completely uh, okay with this, though. So I don't feel bad about using him as my transmutation medium. There we are. Some people use philosopher's stones. No, I just use the church. All right, let's go and grab some more muffins. Perfect. Uh, some more on the way. Ah, it's hard work, this. However, we are holding on to all of that fish because we are going to be taking that over to uh, the lighthouse keeper today. I'm not going to use the teleport stone anymore. I know, I know, it is it is useful. Uh, and I completely appreciate that. It is super useful. But no, I think not. Uh, the other thing, though, is I wonder, can we actually... Hmm, we're going to have to leave this here for now. Got a lot of them, though. But uh, can we actually produce food? Uh, I don't think we can. No, we haven't got an oven, so there's no way we're going to be able to do that. Hmm. Bit of a potch, that one, then. Can I make some of these into urns? Uh, I can make one, so sure. Let's make the uh, ceramic funeral, then. And we are get a little bit of extra faith. 
Not bad. We've got enough slime. If we wanted them to... Well, we'd need more apples, I guess. So, And I'm probably going to purchase a decent chunk of cheese as well. Yeah, we're probably going to get a fair bit done over in... Uh, over there. So I'm going to bring a whopping great amount of fishing supplies again. And furthermore, we're going to set this to making... Uh, let's see... Yeah, let's get as much of this going as we can. In fact, we've got a good amount of it. Oh, we've run out of ingots. There we are. 11 ingots from all... Wow. Okay, that, that is genuinely quite good. Uh, I'm going to grab all of these as well. Before we head out, I believe that's all we need to set up the trellises. We'll go and have a look. Eat another muffin as well. I should probably already be on, on the way over there, but... Let's quickly uh, plant these trellises if we can. Yeah, vine trellis. Excellent. Let's get these down. Perfect. Oh, this is so much better than it was in the in the alpha. This is oh, this is marvelous. In fact, we are gonna be so rich. We can harvest all of this. Oh my goodness. We are gonna be filthy, filthy, filthy rich. I need to leave some room though, because the trunk needs to go somewhere. Yeah. All right. Let's grab some of you. Thank you. I'll take you as well. Might as well while I'm up here. And these as well. There we go. Wow, really? Once again, we have enough to plant three. Uh, well, I'm going to need the peat for the rest of it, but all right. Let's go and grab the material. We well, no, no, no. We're, we're going to go and, and deal with the, uh, with the fishermen. I, I would get way too distracted otherwise. But uh, we want to build the trunk and actually get some more... Um, some more sticks to finish off all the trellises. It's going to be pretty, pretty awesome, I think. Yeah. I feel there's so much more to do. It's not just that uh, we've got a, a few extra areas, but they've given more, more variance of things you want to do in the game now. And I really, really appreciate that. Uh, yeah, we've got everything we need from there. Uh, yeah, we're good. I will have to drop off the sticks that I've got. And a few other things as well, since we're going to be going on a fairly long walk. Uh, I guess I'll pop the funeral urn inside. Let's leave this here. And grab all of this wonderfulness. There we go. Uh, we'll take this with. We'll leave that here for now. I need to drop off the grape seed. I, sh I really should have dropped that off. Um, down in the seed area, but it'll do. Uh, we'll leave these there. Uh, actually, we're going to get some wine on the make. Ah, so good. Let's go. Oh, I'm knackered, really? Already? That's not good. Uh, very well. Begin the craft, please. And there we are. I'll just take some time. I'll I'll catch a, a super power nap. Ah, super refreshed. Wow. I feel so good. Right, let's go. That's pretty much how I actually sleep in real life. <laughs> or at least I, I'm fairly certain that's what a lot of the dabblings think whenever they, they they draw me on the on the topic when I'm streaming. And <laughs> we discuss the fact that I really don't sleep that much. Nor do I eat that much. And yet I feel that I'm actually probably a lot more awake and feel a lot healthier than most people who have three squares meals a day and sleep for eight hours. Or, as I like to put it, pretend they're dead for eight hours. All right. Let me have a quick chat with you. I would like to sell... Ooh. Ooh. I will sell you seven, because I do want to stack. There you go. Nice. Very, very nice. I approve of this money. Greatly do I approve of it. But we will hopefully... Let me just make sure I've got the... Oh, for, for a second there, I was like, wait a second. Did I pick up all of the things I need? I did. I did. It's fine. How much money have I got? Four silver. We just need ten. That's all I need. Ten silver. Once I can make my own whetstones, oh, it's going to be grand time. I didn't bring any cakes to check if you would buy them. Uh, ding bong, ding bang bong, dig I am? Am I? Uh, I don't know. Hemp seeds? Nah, we don't need them. Thank you, though. Maybe, maybe eventually, once we're, we're producing more hemp seeds than we're using, I'll buy a huge whack of them from you to kickstart the process. 
I absolutely want to take all of these, though. Have all of those. Delicious, delicious, deliciousness. No, nope. I, I, want, I want the middle. Nope. Come on. There, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm not going to harvest any flowers I don't need to harvest. I refuse. Let's grab these as well. Hopefully we can get up to the uh, point that this fisherman will, will consider it a uh, worthwhile angler and allow us to buy a better rod so we can catch even better a fish. Because I've got a funny feeling that's going to be one of the key elements to getting the quality fish is the better rod with which to grab. Ah, uh, you won't buy breams. <sighs> Very well. There you go. I only get one silver from that as well. On the plus side, that's almost brought us up. To oh, now you're cooking with fire, aren't we? Yes. I approve. I'll be right back. I'm going to go do some fishing. Hopefully, I'll get enough to sell to you. We'll see, though. Uh, do we want to fish in the ocean or do we want to fish in the village pond? I mean, I really need to go and fish for some toads soon because I want to make burgers. I'm not actually sure if the burgers are, have got a particularly good uh, side effect, but uh, we'll see. Ah, uh, I haven't got an axe. Did I really leave without an axe? Yeah, I did. Not that it would have made much difference, honestly. We're, we're not doing too well with that. I think it's going to be a little while that we're going to have to just live off what... Uh, We've already got... Okay, so n with nothing selected... Ooh, okay, so we've got a 100% on one thing. Huh. Interesting. All right. Well, let's see what we catch over here. Nice and easy now. There we go. We, we're going to have a little uh, little bunch of muffins to keep us going. Remember, look for that little effect there. And the moment that goes, click. Hopefully, that little, that little t tip has uh, allowed a couple of people to gain access. Ooh. Is it going to be another anchovy over here? I don't know if when you've discovered one, it'll unlock all of the other places where you could discover where you could fish that fish or not, or whether you have to expressly fish for it in all of those locations. We'll see now if this is another anchovy or not. Yeah, it is. That's fine, though. All right, what are we going to get here, then? I mean, 33% is decent. We may get be, I might just fish here with no bait until I've caught both. But then again, if I use the maggots, I'm guaranteed to catch the middle one, so... I guess that's fine. There we go. What are we getting? Is this one moving like an anchovy? All of the fish have a certain type of uh, movement pattern. An eel. Ooh. We caught the 33%. Wow. Okay. Oh, no. Sorry. My bad. What? Oh, I haven't got enough energy. Om, 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 om. There we go. I want to know what the 66% is here. Well, that's actually pretty cool. So with maggots, we can guarantee catching eels if we want to. Useful. Very useful, actually. We may have to buy uh, some more fishing recipes. Is this another eel? No. No, it's not. It's an anchovy. Okay. Well, that's actually pretty cool. Let's go over to the uh, little pond. Oh, well, actually, we're going to rush down and just see what we can get for the eels and the anchovies here. I just want to know how much they're worth. It'll be useful information for us. But I really do hope that, uh, that that little tip regarding watching for just the change of animation of the bobber, rather than watching the bobber go into the water, the moment the, the animation changes at all, or rather it loses the little reflective part, that you can then... Uh, oh, actually, that's not bad. Uh, you can then um, start working on it. There we go. Fantastic. We're going to be able to get a lure. We're get, able to get a new rod, and we can buy the fish, the, the the fish fillets that we need to complete the gypsy quest. I think that's rather good myself. I think it's particularly awesome, in fact. Now, am I going to fish for the rest of this episode? No, I got other things I want to do, really. So we're just going to grab what we can over here. It was a good good time to uh, pop down and get that stuff done, though. That still confuses me. What secrets do you have, little garden? I feel that there are definitely secrets here. I don't know what kind. It is vexing. We'll, we'll learn. We will learn. Can I... I think my shovel is what we use to get this. Good. We need the sticks. Grab you. Thank you. Okay, we're up to uh, 139 on the red skill points. We need to be at 200, so, you know... Let's not start any celebrations. We're a bloody long way away from where we need to be, but we are making progress. Marked progress. Measured progress, one could say. Because uh, I'm certainly measuring it, as you as you noted from the fact that I read the number out. Thereby measuring it. All right, let's uh, grab you as well. Thank you. 
140. Marvellous. We need to get some more fish from the little fishing pond in here. Oh, that actually reminds me. A couple of people wanted to know what we would see over here. Forest near the river. Forest near the river. Uh, okay. Um, fair enough. There's the fishing spot there. What do we discover up here? There's definitely things over there. I want to go through there. Where am I on this map? I actually don't know where I am on the map. Interesting, but thanks to the road's position, I could tell. Um, sure, we'll grab these. Uh, ideally, let's grab them now. Thank you. I would love it. I can! <gasps> uh, I mean, it's fairly limited what I can cook, but... Oh, really? I think there is a fire pit over there. Okay, so I'm going to have to make some firewood and take it with me. That is... I'm fairly certain we can't use coal. Which is a shame. Because uh, coal, especially charcoal, would burn particularly clean. I mean, you're not going to smoke your food, certainly. But you're going to have a, a pretty good time of it. Now, hmm. Oh, we already know what we're going to get here. Uh, now, what was it that we were able to sell? We can't sell the bream. Okay. Well, we're not getting that much uh, money for selling the fish, so I'm not going to worry about that for now. Now I've unlocked the next tier. We're going to buy the fishing rod. We're going to buy the lure. We will probably end up buying um, fillets of quality fish, simply because that's going to be so much faster for us. Now, that being said, I'm, I'm not sure it will be faster. I mean, I think it will be, but we'll, we'll have to see. I want to buy some cheese, though, if I... Oh, I can't. Wow. Kind of sucks, really, but all right. We've got to get back fairly sharpish, though. But I do love the fact that uh, we can cook on those little fires. I, I hadn't checked, but yeah, you can. That's going to be super useful. I'm fairly certain there was a fire over there. So if we're especially lucky, then we should be able to cook our own food up near that area. Th that being said, honestly, I'm not even sure we would need it, because what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to put like loads of pasta or lasagna up there, so that while I'm working with my axe or pickaxe, pretty much my pickaxe, almost exclusively in fact, then I'll be I'll be sorted. Um, yeah. I imagine we're going to be using the... Uh, oh, actually, it's going to be daytime in the moment. Ooh, there we are. Wine. Marvellous. What quality one? Uh, it's low quality one, but that's fine. It's okay. Uh, let's go and get the grapes planted before we go and take care of the cement. But uh, what I was uh, considering is if we have food up there, it'll probably be food that I prepared down here. Simply because that is so much easier for me to do. Do I want to make more cakes? I need honey for that. Alternatively, I could use it to make berry pie. Uh, I mean, berry pie is actually better to... Well, it's not really, no, because I, I get a lot more. But honey is a, more difficult to come by resources. It's a bit of... Six of one and half a dozen the other, really. Uh, I didn't manage to get any more pasta. But what I could do, I guess, to chop all of these up. I, yeah. All right. I'll get that sorted, I suppose. We would get three white fish from cutting up a meal, though. Okay. I wonder if we could sell these to him now that he has uh, upgraded to the second tier of his shop. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. So I'm just like wasting all of this, but I don't mind really. Uh, it's fine for now. Let's continue getting all this done. I mean, if nothing else... Well, no, that's the thing. We're not going to be able to fish up there. Even if I needed just a little tiny bit of energy to finish off a bit of work, we wouldn't be able to fish. Hmm. Yeah, without an actual kitchen, it's not going to be that useful for us, unfortunately. Really won't be. A dire shame. To be true. Now, it's almost midday. We've got a lot of things to do, but I would like to just get uh, some peat up there. Uh, let's just take half of what we got. That's fine. Uh, some grape seeds. It's fine. I'll take some flitch. I'll take some nails. I will also take some... Uh, metal and we should be able to get everything sorted up there that we want i didn't take my fishing food again not that i need it this is the problem is i get super lazy 
thanks to... And I was like this in Stardew as well. It's like, well, I could take this stuff that'll increase my fishing, but do I need to? No, because I'm really good at fishing, so why bother? But, you know, sometimes then I would struggle, and I'd only have myself to blame. Right, trunk. Where can I place... Oh! Oh, that's actually quite convenient. Sure, I'll pop it down there. There we are. Glorious. Let's get you... Done. Get the grapes seeded in there. We should be good. Try and get all of this finished. There we are. And drop off all of the peat and the grape seeds. Actually, that's fantastic. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about getting all this stuff done, but can I finish it? Oh, I can. I'm super happy with that. <laughs> super amazingly happy, actually. Right. I've got to move sharpish now. If I both want to conduct the sermon and sell a bunch of stuff to the uh, uh, the bishop. You know what? Don't worry about anything else. Just grab what you can. We're running out of time. Like dire running out of time right now. Grab all of it. Go, go, go. Hopefully I've got enough room for the prayer. If not, that's going to kind of suck. All right, we may actually miss out on our, our opportunity to talk with the bishop if I don't do that first. I've got a funny feeling that uh, wasting an entire week of not getting faith would be awful, but I don't want to lose this. Right, uh, trade first. All of the bread. There you go. Uh, I can't tell... Ah, uh, whoever told me I could trade the bowls. Scallywag, you filled my heart with hope and then dashed it. On the rocks of despair. You scoundrels. Oh well. Uh I don't I don't dwell long on despair. It doesn't have much power over me. It has a few seconds, uh, maybe a funny one liner, or maybe a not funny one liner, I suppose. I guess you're the judge of that. And then I move on. I did notice though in the Dapperdale Discord that someone has uh, apparently changed the text or found a way to change text to the correct text. No. Also, in the comments of the video, I noted that quite a few people uh, pointed out that, well, the way that you perceive that text is truly a sign of your faith. If you read Our Church Great, then you are a true believer and welcome in this house of God. If, however, you read Our Church Is Great, get out, you heretic. I think that's completely fair. All right, here's the fish. You are my saviour. I hope that didn't sound blasphemous. Ha oh. uh, ha No, it, I don't think it did. Uh, I really, really, really wish I could sell more stuff to you. I could sell the casual prey for a bit of cash. I don't want to, though. I might, in time, but not yet. Oh, actually, 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 actually. If I can go and make a better prey, then I could sell the casual prey. Because <gasps> I'm not going to use the casual prey once I've got a better prey, now am I? No, of course not. Of course I would not. Right, okay, well, uh, how about... A prayer of faith is good enough for me right now. I think. Personally. I could go for this, though, if I make a... I could have a combo prayer. Combo prayers are pretty good. They give, give you a bunch of extra in both. But right now... Ultimately, wouldn't give me as much good as a prayer of faith, I think. So we're going to go just for a regular prayer of faith. We're not going to get a particularly good one. That's fine. There we go. Load of faith there. We'll drop this one off. I'm going to see if I can sell this quickly. We might not. He might have already moved on. And if not, I'm going to sell it. Oh, no, no. There you are. Marvellous. Uh, you can have this one. Thank you. Womp. There we are. Perfect. Marvellous. In fact, we can get some incense from you later on. And I can sell these to you as well, if I particularly want to. So uh, that's actually pretty cool. I was a little bit concerned that as I upgrade my prayers, I wouldn't really have anything to do with them. But no, I can sell them to the bishop for some reason. Uh, all right. Whatever rocks your boat, bishop. Uh, well, actually, I suppose you probably prefer it's not to rock the boat, really, when you think about it. Uh, okay, well, I need whatever's going to give me good amounts of hard work skill is what I need. Can we get a decent... Yes, only for one. I approve. Let's get that done. Ah, there we are. Ceramic bowls. And a decent chunk of hard work. Okay, next up. All right, I accept. Some flitch. Because when's the next time I'm going to study it? There we go. And, you know, not an amazing amount, but we got some. 
I, I guess we can study that if I can't study any of these. I can't study any of these. Can I study... Ooh. No, not quite. Can I study paper? Oh, well, no, I'll decompose paper. Can I study sand? Don't want to study sand. Uh, I could decompose those too. Uh, uh, alright. Well, we've got nothing else here that I can really study. I don't think I can study that one. So, um... Sand. Let's learn the secrets of sand. There we are, river sand. Give us a reasonable amount. Okay, fair enough. Right, well that's all we need to do then. We've used up all of our faith. But the next time we're going to get some pretty good faith, I think. Um, do I want to leave much here? Uh, I do, kind of. Let's leave 20 flitch. And... Because I have no particular use for it, let's leave 30 of these balls. I really, really wish I had actually checked that before I made all of those. But I'm just too trusting. I'm too trusting of an individual. Ah, you scallywags. Leading me astray. Uh, I'm going to go and talk with Notmort. I don't have any wine for Notmort, but I'll go and talk with Notmort. At the very least. Hello, Notmort. Are there corpses down here? I've got a funny feeling they might be. Ah. <laughs> Oops. I feel I may have neglected my my duties. Well now. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what happens if we've got a completely decayed corpse like this. Well that was actually fairly fairly solid work then. Okay, let's take a heart out. Let's see if we can turn a completely decayed body into a not off oh right, okay, yeah. Loads of loads of mistakes there. I've got not enough energy. I mean, to be prepared, I'm working with a completely rotten body. It's not exactly nice work. Uh, I imagine at least part of my sudden hunger was that I uh, vacated my stomach in the wrong direction. Uh, oh well. I'll take the skull, I guess. And the bones, actually. They'll be useful for a few things. Uh, let's grab you. I'm not going to take that meat. You can, you, can, you can be sent on to the next place with your meat intact. And your stomach intact as well, because your corpse is already polluted and decayed. I don't want to know how disgusting it would be trying to take those guts out. No, 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 no. There are some things that my delicate nose are just not meant to know. Uh, not that I actually don't know what it smells like to uh, rupture someone's guts. Well, I say someone, something's guts. I mean, let me clarify that. You know, just in case the wrong sorts of people are watching my events, but... Uh, I can't pick them up. Damn Dragon Blast. Let me go and drop off these items. I'll write it down here. First and foremost. It does seem... Do I move faster on the road? Mm, I can't tell. I can't tell yet. Let me just uh, drop these off. So, yes, I guess all of these go in there. There we are. Now I can gather all of this good stuff. There we are. Make another funeral urn as well in a little bit. But, uh, yes, yes, when uh, getting your dinner, uh, be very careful around the guttywats. No, not good when you accidentally puncture those while you're trying to skin something. Uh, right. Now, what would I like to do here? We could refertilize, we could get a bunch of stuff done, actually. Uh, sure. Let's, let's get all of this dug up. It's about that time, really. I think I'm going to have to make some trellises as well down here. As we are most definitely in need of lentils. I have no idea how many seeds I'm getting back from this. Unfortunately. Nope. Come on. Let's get all these gone. And these ones as well. Thank you. We can drop off the seeds at the very least. So let's drop those in there. Also all the peat. We don't need to be carrying that around. You know what? Let me go and... Uh, empty my inventory a little bit faster. Uh, sorry, uh, a little bit first so that we can get this done a, a teeny bit faster. There we are. We will also pop the fish in there. I mean, we might actually have need of those higher quality fish, I guess. It's quite possible, actually. Uh, let's pop you in. There we go. I wonder, are there any fish meals that I need quality fish to make? I actually imagine there are, though I might need to speak with Ms. Chain before I can work out what those things are. Uh, we'll see. Uh, let's actually look over here. Yeah, we don't have anything in particular for quality fish yet. That's fine. 
Let's go ahead and make... No, not omelettes, thank you. And we can't make those yet either, which is unfortunate. Um, could make baked apples, we could make a bunch of baked mushrooms. Sure, let's get baked mushrooms done. There we are. That should open up a little bit of room for us to... Well, which one do we want to put in there? I guess the, mush uh, the mushrooms can go in there for now. I think I am going to make some berry juice. In fact, we're going to make all the berry juice we can. Seven berry juices. There we go. And then we can drop that off in there because the apples will be cleared out of the, the inventory. Not too bad. But yes, we need to get a decent amount more cheese so that we can make plenty of extra... Um, pasta for the mining area. I think that's going to have to be one of the, the big things that we work on probably in the next episode now though. Just get Pete on the go. Yeah. Uh, actually, I'm going to grab the um, sticks that we've got since we may be able to... Wow, well, we've only got five. Okay, we're going to need to go on a hunt for sticks as well for us to be able to make the uh, trellises down here to grow everything that we particularly want. There we go, some carrots. Let's drop off all of those seeds. There we are. I've got plenty of room in my inventory now as well. Uh, if we get a decent amount of beets, I mean, we could just have sliced beets for for a uh, energy restorative, rather than going to the effort of making the much more resource-intensive foods. That being said, though, I think that I haven't run the numbers yet, but I remember in the alpha they, there was a reason why you went for the higher grade food, and that was it was ultimately um, the energy was condensed into a, a much smaller area. Uh, I haven't and it, typically even when it was a case that you were going to lose out a little bit on the energy, uh, sorry on the resources per energy that the food would restore, it wasn't by much so it really does depend a little bit at its heart, I think this is a time management slash inventory management game, like many games uh, of this of this ilk. So if you can condense the energy res restoration you get per point of inventory space, then it's a pretty good move, typically speaking. Now that does kind of depend on the stack size as well, because sure, some things might be able to stack to 20, but some things might be able to stack to 50. And then it's a little bit less clear. Again, you just need to run the numbers. You know, you might find that carrot cutlets are one of the best foods that you can have for the amount of inventory space um, required to be carrying around X much worth of stamina um, that you could restore to yourself. Uh, likewise, you could find that muffins are the best ones. I mean, I, I rolled with muffins for a very long time and they felt like they were one of the better ones, but I didn't actually uh, calculate it, so I couldn't say that with any great... Uh, certainty, I'm afraid. Right, okay. We've got a bunch of things in here. We may as well store those as well. Alright, carrot-wise, let's take... Uh, let's take 20. I'm going to give those to Comrade Donkey. Uh, oh, actually, no, I've just stored 20. Never mind. I'm being a bit... I guess I can bring those out with them as well, I suppose. Uh, drop that off. Alright. Now then, what are we going to plant? Start with carrots first. Let's get all the carrots planted if we can. I would love having just a single field for a single crop. That would be a pretty nice place to be, in my humble opinion. Whether we're going to get there or not, I don't know, but uh, we'll see. Uh, next up, uh, let's go with beets. So we'll get five of these planted down. Not quite on the par with the carrots, but then I have bought more carrot seeds, and also Comrade Donkey has pooped out some carrot seeds for me, so it's a bit of an unfair comparison, that one. Uh, in terms of wheat, yeah, wheat or cabbage, honestly, I'm still using the wheat much more than I'm using the cabbage, so we'll go with wheat for now. Again, down into the dungeon would be quite useful to stock up on some extra items down there. We'll... Oop, which one am I planting in? The middle one? No. No, I want the nice the nice kind of yin-yang-y kind of uh, design. Please and thank you. There we are. And we actually got... Yeah, we've got a decent amount of hemp seeds, but uh, we're going to plant those 
One over here. And one over on the other one as well. There we are. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. There we go. Do I have anything to drop off? No. Okay, well, I think that's where we're going to be wrapping up this episode. We've done a decent job with our money. We're at 11 silver now. We can finally go and buy a bloody whetstone. Oh, we need one awfully badly. Uh, so that's going to be something that we work on. Uh, you know what? Actually, that's not a bad amount of carrots to be holding on to. Sure, we'll, we'll take uh, that much carrots over to Comrade Donkey. Or at least I'll drop some of these off in there at least. But that is going to be it for us for now. I'm not going to worry about getting more grape seeds just yet. I think we're going to wait on that one. But uh, I really do hope you've enjoyed this episode and will be joining me for the next. Of course, we will be setting up the uh, mining outpost probably in the next episode, if, I, if I'm honest. The main thing we need, an ore sto uh, stockpile, a stone stockpile, a stone cutter, and a trunk. And a furnace, of course. So actually, quite a few things that we're going to have to go and grind the resources out for. But it'll be worth it in the end, I fancy. So that's going to be it from me. So until next time, and as always, do take care, everyone.